You'll Never Be an Artist is a thought that can come from our loved ones, uh, social media, people that we look up to, but primarily ourselves. So today let's explore how we can move past this crippling idea and become the artist that we dream of. So hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you are brand new here, my name is Nicholas Jackson. I'm an artist in Northern Minnesota. And today we're gonna to talk about self-doubt. This idea that you can't do it, you can't be an artist, you can't make it, uh, you'll never achieve the art that you wanna make. This is certainly a matter of the heart and how we believe in ourselves as artists. Self-doubt is, is something that I, I definitely str struggle with. Um, this hits really home today as I'm, as I'm sitting here talking to you about how uh, when I'm making art, I, I regularly struggle with not feeling like I don't measure up, that I'm never gonna be good enough, that I'm never gonna make it. I wanna talk to you about this because I think this is a real thing. This is something that artists struggle with, even maybe if we don't want to admit it. But first off, art is not a competition. The, the best artists encourage and celebrate the accomplishments of other artists. So some of the best artists that I've actually got the chance to meet and talk to have been so encouraging to me and have kind of lifted me up and built me up as an artist. So first off, remember that everybody's on their own journey as artists. We're all in our own spot. We're trying to make our own way. I made a video about not falling into the comparison trap. And I think that's a really important thing to talk about as artists as we often look at other work and we're like, I'm never gonna be able to do that. I'm never gonna be good enough. Uh, should I even try? You know, and I think discouragement can really come when we compare ourselves uh, to others. You know, as, as we're on our own journey, just know that you're making steps, that you are improving, that you are getting you are getting better. And when you're working as an artist, you're learning this part of art and this part of art, and it's kind of spread out. And, and so maybe it's hard to see that the improvement is occurring and it's maybe occurring in small steps and maybe leaps and bounds over here. So one of the things that's really helped me uh, as an artist and, and to get past this idea of self-doubt is to celebrate the wins that I do have. I celebrate when I have accomplished something as an artist. And it's really important when we celebrate these wins, not to just like move the goalpost over one time. Like, hey, you're getting better at color. And when you think, oh, gosh, I, I'm getting better at color. I just finished a piece. I like the color of this piece. Man, I, I, I wish I was better at skin tones. <laughs> so like there's, there's, if you just move the goalpost over one, you don't stop and celebrate the wins uh, that have just occurred. You know, I have a, I have a friend who's just kind of learning how to, to draw people. They've really enjoyed drawing characters and creatures and now they're starting to draw people and people are hard to draw. And seeing that and celebrating with her, the win of like, my goodness, your people are really coming along. You're doing a great job drawing that and just let's stop and celebrate that and to, engage in that accomplishment. So one of the things that we have to deal with as artists is negativity from others. And if you are going to take the leap <laughs> and be ambitious <laughs> and put your art out there, you're gonna get critiques. You're gonna have people who are super negative about your work or are gonna say un unkind things about it. And that's where you need to realize that people who are negative, that's kind of more about them and their problem, not necessarily anything to do with your art. So you have to take it with a grain of salt whenever they say something negative. You know, and just some people need to bring others down to feel good about themselves. It's awful, but that's how it works. Uh, and, and some people are going to be jealous, not necessarily that you're making art, but that you're pursuing your dreams, that you are becoming more, that you are working towards a goal. And some people have a hard time noticing that and being okay with that because maybe they're not following their own dreams. So the other thing about someone being negative about your work is they may not understand the context. You know, what have you been working on? Maybe you haven't been devoting yourself to drawing feet, but you've been working on hands a lot. And you know, because everybody's kind of at their own spot in their art making, most people aren't gonna understand what you've been working on, what you haven't been. So one thing that keeps happening in making art for me is my proportions. My por proportions are the worst. Whenever I start a drawing, the head is gonna be humongous. I'm gonna have to shrink it down. I almost just know that it's coming, that I'm gonna just make some horrible proportion choices. And it's something that I've just kind of had to work around and live with and try to get better at, but it's just not going very well. And but I have to kind of accept that and be like, okay, that's maybe not my strength. I can work through it, but proportions are gonna be a little bit of a struggle for me. It's really easy to be hard on ourselves as artists. Um, we wanna get better, we wanna be 
uh, like other artists, and you know, that's why we compare ourselves to others. And I think that understanding that it's easy to fall in, into this trap can, you can almost catch yourself when it's happening. Speaking negatively about your work um, is, is not a good practice. I do that too often where I just talk down about the, what I'm trying to work on or I get upset about it rather than just accepting it as part of the process of, of making art and the process of learning. Uh, we're all journeying through this wonderful world of learning how to make art and we're at different places. You know, we can't just look to others for our value. If you're waiting for people to tell you that you're an amazing artist, that may not happen uh, uh, right away. It may not happen at all. And so you can't just wait for others to say, hey, you're an amazing artist, you're doing great. I, I'm so fortunate and blessed to have a family who's supporting me and friends who have just always been super encouraging. Do I run into trolls? Yes. Um, do they bother me? Yes. But I've learned how to move on and just continue to make uh, the art that I can do. When someone wants me to paint something for them, I have to remind myself they actually want what I can produce, not what the future self <laughs> can produce, what, you know, what somebody else can do. They're actually looking for me to paint and they've seen my work. They know what they're going to get and they're excited about that. Allow them to be excited and allow that excitement to kind of pass on uh, to yourself. I recently made a painting that I just wasn't very excited about and um, it really kind of break me down a little bit. I, I, I was thinking, man, I, I, I was excited about this piece and it just didn't turn out. And, and man, is it easy to go down the road of just thinking negatively about your own work. So well, how you think about your work is gonna probably actually impact your work. So as much as you can to reduce those negative thoughts and replace them with that you are good, that you're working at it, that you're improving. Actually, the better art you're gonna make in the end. So don't let anybody tell you that you're never going to be an artist. Don't let that kind of negativity in your space rid yourself of toxic thoughts and grip on to the fact that you are trying, that you're working at it, and that you're going to get there. In the comments below, go ahead and let me know how have you been working through negative thoughts, whether it's from yourself or from others. And how do you deal with negativity about your art? You can also just let me know what's been helpful about today's video that maybe you're going to try to apply to your artistic life. So you are valuable, you are loved, and you absolutely are improving. Don't let anybody tell you that you're not making headway. So make some art today. We'll see you next time.